All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to Ashanu and Friends TV with me, Ashanu, and I am back. It's been a bit of a break. Haven't really done too much since the last UGC Grand Final. UGC, of course, Season 9 Grand Final, going two maps to zero in favour of VD, but we're back. It's week three of the actual season of UGC Season 10. It's the fu summer fun season, which means we should be getting a few maps that we haven't really seen before. Uh, this week, though, with these two teams, we're going to be seeing something fairly standard. That, of course, is Viaduct Pro. Two teams, I'm going to get to them in a second, but first up, I'm going to introduce my co-caster. It's someone who, if you watched that last grand final, you would have seen in action. He is the spy. He is the captain of VD, and, uh, well, he's been co-casting with me for quite some time. It's Edge. Edge, how are you this evening? Hi, Edge. I'm good, thank you, and hello, everyone, that's come to watch this cast. Um... These two teams really keen to see how they go, man. This, this map is pretty stock standard. I think they've probably got some experience on it, and it should be a close contest. Well, look, I think you're exactly right. The two teams, we haven't really introduced them yet. Anzac currently in the blue, and um, you should all be familiar with them. Third place getters last UGC season, fourth place getters the season before that. A very consistent team, a very solid team that's been around for a long time, and will be depending a lot on their teamwork. Going up against, uh, well, I, I hesitate to call them a new team because they've been, they're players that have been around for a long time. They're called Mira, M-I-R-A, standing for Mindless Rampage, and they're led by Shredder on the spy there. Um, but, Edge, let's talk about them for a second. They've got a couple of really quite, uh, quite high-skilled and quite experienced players on their lineup. Yeah, they've got some really talented players on there. Um, players from Getsum from last season, such as Kieran and Jono, who are also playing Premtiv in Sixes, and uh, guys like Lamy also in Premtiv, and a few other players there who have played the Highlander before, including Shredder, G, and Metal. Um, come together quite well. I think they're in the bonding session right now, but these guys have a lot of potential from what I can see. Look, absolutely they do. I'm really excited to see how this goes. Uh, if any of you guys caught the little sort of pre-season sort of team breakdown we did over on Edge's YouTube channel there, most of us sort of put these guys second or third uh, for this season, and probably Anzac third as, or fourth as well. So um, looking forward to seeing that. We've got a few changes from, um, from Anzac's regular lineup. We're going to have... A few people missing. We've got Fonz missing. We've got Corgi and Jim Bob both missing also for this game. So we've got Skenny standing in, uh, currently named up as Scammy, because Anzac's trying to confuse me with all their names right now. Um, he'll be playing on the scout, and they've changed a few things around, but we will be seeing the return of... No, it looks like we'll be having Cowbell on the sniper instead of Keys. I was misinformed there, Edge. Oh, no. I was looking forward to Keys playing this map, but um, I think he's taking a bit of a break now, but Cowbell should be good. Yeah, it should be a good matchup. Cowbell and Kieran, um, probably give that edge to Kieran on that one. And this is, of course, a very sniper-friendly, sniper-centric map, where if your sniper can dominate, you should be taking rounds with relative comfort. Uh, looks like I'm hearing... Did I hear a ready up there, Edge, or am I going crazy? I think I'm going crazy, man, but I might be going very good. crazy as well. So, uh, hmm, we've got nine aside, so look to start quite soon. Um, I think they will start pretty soon. It's it's about seven, seven up five now. Yeah, maybe instead of going crazy, maybe it's just a bit of wishful thinking. I'm not too sure. But, awesome. um, yeah, so, Anzac, as I mentioned, third place getters last season, uh, falling only to your team, VD, uh, and, of course, coming third with 0% uh, coming in second. Unfortunately, 0% not returning for this season, but, um, well, them's the breaks. We've got another sort of, well, conglomeration of fairly decent players in Mirror coming forward, so... I don't know, I'm, I'm very excited to see how we go tonight. We've got all 18 players in. I'm not too sure what we're waiting for, but hopefully we're going to get this underway very soon. But uh, Predictions Edge, who do you think is going to take this one for tonight? Oof. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tip Mira tonight. Um, I, I've seen these guys play, and they're quite a DM-heavy team. I think Kieran and Sniper is, is going to be huge for them, and also Jono and Dumbo Man is going to be doing a lot of damage. Um, in saying that, every single time I've tipped against Anzac, they won their match, so it's, it's a tough call, but I'm going to say Merit tonight. Look, I tend to agree. If it was the full lineup, the full sort of core on their regular classes for Anzac, I think it would probably be a very tight game, and I might even be tipping Anzac, but it's they're missing a couple of their players, and a couple of their players that they do have are actually... Uh, not really on their core classes. So, for instance, you've got Ryan playing Medic tonight, 
with, I think it's Leia, Jemmy, yeah, on the demo. So, not necessarily the classes that they've spent, you know, the two seasons of teamwork and playing together, practicing for, but um, hopefully they should should put on a good show. I'm I'm probably going to say about 4-1, four, four rounds to one in favour of Mira at the moment. Yeah, I've got the, uh, pretty much the same sort of uh, bet on that as you, Shanu. I think um, I think player to watch for Anzac will definitely be Dazo and Heavy. Um, if he can kind of counter Jono and a few other players, that's going to give Anzac a lot to push on from. Um, but besides that, I think the key to this match for them is to shut down Kieran. Look, I think you're probably right. M my biggest issue with shutting down or sort of giving too many resources over to shut down Kieran is that you've got people like Jono, You've got people like Lammy on the soldier there that can just really pick up the slack if Kieran's having an off night or if he is getting targeted. So you can't really shut down all of their players. So it's going to be interesting to see how Anzac tries to do it. I'm going to go ahead and go through the Anzac roster. No, we're going to go ahead and start. So this is, of course, UGC Season 10, Week 3. Anzac against Mira, Shano and Friends TV. I'm Shano. I've got Edge with me. And we're on the rollout for the very first round of this game. On the Jono cam, he's going to be going up to the high ground there. And uh, not too much actually happening. He's trying to get some stickies down, but he does get a scout in his face. Skinny going really crazy aggro, but does get taken down there. Quite a passive rollout. Looks like Skinny and Shredder have gone down. Shredder's dead during this, he's back up. Um, Mira does have the player advantage for the time being. Looking to just, um, just put as much damage out, not much contention on point right now. Yeah, a very passive rollout, as you mentioned. Both teams playing sort of very conservatively behind their rock there. Faith getting taken down with a nice uh, a bit of body shot, actually, there from Cowbell. But the crits are actually out. I didn't see it. Jono on the crits, and he does take down a lot of players, and it looks like Anzac... Most of their players deceased just caught the end of it there, taking down uh, the heavy there with the crit pipe. It looks like um, Mira should be able to move forward and get some nice cap time up on this point right now. That was, well, I didn't actually spot the crits out, but it was very, very effective. Yeah, good choice for Mira and good pop by Rhoda onto Jono getting a lot of kills. I think Anzac had about seven plays go down on that exchange, so Mira going to cap up this point and have a pretty good advantage. Yeah, I should have known though, uh, Jono, especially on this map, a very effective recipient of those crits there, and uh, well, as you mentioned, about seven, I'm not too sure the exact number, but it completely wiped Anzac there, it might as well have been nine for all the good it did them, so, you know, time's going, already lost 30 seconds off this point here for Mira, and it looks like they're going to be in for the long haul, they're settling in, they're around that point, and um, well, at this point, what would you be trying to do to try and dislodge them from this point, Edge? Oof. At this point, I think you just got to build up an uber charge and go for it, really. If you can get a med pick or Jono as he's taken down right now, uh, that means that Mira don't exactly have anyone to pop with Anzac holding quite back. Um, if they can just get uber and push off that, you should do a lot of damage. Yeah, they needed Jono up there. They do ha they have had that, that crits up for a while, actually. And actually, the uber is in now for Anzac. They're pushing forward with the heavy, getting a lot of kills, but not actually um, not getting too much. They did take down Rody though. And that's huge, the huge play there by Brody going down. He's yeah. actually dropped crits as well, so full advantage will be up for um, for for Anzac when they do have Uber. Yeah, caught the backstab there. Uh, Jemmy going down to Shredder there. I would say that losing that crits is a big deal, but um, when they're pushing forward with the Uber, you can't really get too much done with that crits anyway. So perhaps not uh, the biggest drop in the world, but certainly not helpful in any way. 1 minute and 55 seconds left on the clock for Mira at the end of that first possession. 30 seconds gone already for Anzac, and actually they're looking in quite a good position. They do have 80% Uber up, which means they will get their Uber up before um, before Mira can come back with that crits. Yeah, Anzac's just doing what they normally do, just uh, letting the opposition come to them and sticking together as a team and cleaning them out. Um, once they have lots of players, they're just dropping back, which is a good move on their behalf. Uh, one thing I do like to call quickly is I really feel for Boat Spies on this map. <laughs> they're up against some pretty good pyros and there's not much space to move. A bit of spy sympathy there, yeah. Um, well, yeah, this map in general, not too great for spies. What we are seeing now is the crits coming out right now onto Jono. Takes down the Stammy, I think that's Stash. Takes down uh, Dozo as well. All these names are throwing me right now. But only the two or three kills under that crits. Uh, but it doesn't really matter though. Rody, um, only about 20% on... No, that is the crits. Did, um, did the medic for Anzac go down there? Uh, I'm, I'm getting messages that... He was taken down by Kieran, so um, yeah, looking at Ubers right now, Rody's on about 45% and uh, Ryan's on 25%, so 
they will get crits quite soon. Yeah, I think that might, might be what they're actually waiting for. They're f holding down off that point right now, baiting the uh, Anzac players forward. But really, uh, yeah, it's working for them because uh, most of the Anzac players are down right now. They do retain control of that point, but it's 100% crits up now. I'm on the Jono cam, seeing what he can do with it. I feel like he should be popping it now. It was a little bit late, but still, the medic escapes into that house. No kills under that crit so far. Lorenzo does go down, and Jemmy as well in the background. They're getting time up on this point, which is what they need to do. Uh, mini sentry gone down, which means all of those crit stickies are blown. But at the end of that fight, though, Mira has taken the point, and 55 seconds left, they should be able to do it from here. That was probably a good play. Um, not much kills coming out from that Kurtz Craig, but what it did do is push Anzac all the way back to their spawn, um, giving Mira the opportunity to cap that point. Uber is popped with the Pyro, which is a bit of an um, unorthodox play, but seems to be working so far as Matic does go down for, um, for the Anzac. Yeah, he was caught alone. I don't think his pocket turned around to help him too much. And what we actually did see, though, is even with that Uber, Anzac failed to actually cap up that point, which means this whole time it's been ticking down in favour of Mira. So 20 seconds left. It looks like they will be the victors of this first round. They're up to 100% crits. I think... I'm not too sure if John is going to use it or not. Uh, they might use it just sort of preemptively to try and stop any uh, action onto that point. But in this last five seconds, it doesn't really matter... Anzac has to try and come forward, throw their bodies at the point, which is what they're doing. The Spy's trying to do it. does go down. They're coming forward. We will have a little bit of overtime on this point, but it's going to drop off quickly. Crits, Crits are actually out, yeah. Heavy and uh, just going to clean up what defense Anzac is going to have. This round looks like it's going to go to Mira. And yeah, there it is. First round in the bag for Mira. About 1 minute 43 left there on the clock for Anzac at the end of the first round. So it wasn't a complete one-sided affair, but... I think Ed, you'd have to say fairly dominant in favour of uh, in favour of Mira so far. That was quite dominant actually. Um, I think Mira is going to stick with their um, Kutzkrieg tactics on this map. It's been working quite well so far. Uh, Anzac, on the other hand, are going to be looking to see if they can target that, that demo a lot more. Make sure if he's down, there's no one to pop crits on. Yeah, you would think so. Uh, just a point to note: Anzac already on crits as well, so. Uh might be seeing a couple of crossing lasers here as we come out. It depends on who gets that Uber up first. It is actually a little bit of an Uber advantage in favour of Mira. Rody there on the uh, on the medic grinding up just a little bit faster. The crits is actually out now onto Jono. I don't know if that was a force or if that was an intentional pop. He hasn't got any kills with it so far. A couple of crit stickies are down. And in fact, he doesn't manage to take down that soldier, uh, that uh, heavy, excuse me. He does go down under the heavy's fire as well. They do manage to cap up that round, but uh, that cap, but... Um, and here comes the counter crits popped on Jammy. Uh, pushing everyone back and nearly, nearly gets medic, unfortunately not. Um, Anzac will get this point though, so, so far it was working. I think um, Derzo did a pretty good job there, just uh, blocking off Jono and getting the kill when he didn't have crits. Yeah, I think definitely. I want to just point out, Tison did a great deal of work there, reflecting back those crit stickies, keeping his medic alive, which means that they could manage to uh, back out and keep their medic alive. It's a s very slight uber advantage, negligible really, in favour of Mira. But we did see Anzac with a very nice push there under that crits, recapping that point. So roughly even time for this round, and it looks like Anzac's uh, really found their feet in this game. Yeah, it looks like they have. Um, both heavies doing a lot of work from both teams. Um, crits popped on Jono right now. Jono gets Medic. Medic down, good job. And he's going to get a few more kills there. Nearly, nearly gets the heavy goes go down. Soldier does go down. That's close to a wipe. Look, that was really well done by Mira. <laughs> they just came forward with, as I mentioned, Jono, a great recipient of those crits. They do manage to cap up that point. What I'm really liking, though, is that they had their scout on that cap point and pressuring the point before the crits were popped, and that baited all of the Anzac players forward to try and defend it up. So uh, a lot of them met dead their demise prematurely under that crits, which is really helping to wipe the time off the cap point here for Mira. Cardinal getting a good shot on Kieran. He's actually uh, clapping in a position that's quite aggressive. Uh, not sure what the idea of that is, but um, it seems to be working so far. A lot of Anzac players coming up up into that point. They get in the position to uh, crits in pretty soon. Rolo does pop, however, first onto Jono. Oh, yeah, and once oh. again, Jono getting a lot of work done under those crits. He didn't quite manage to get the medic this time. However, the medic is retreating, and he is caught on the retreat by Jono. Not under the crit stickies, but he does get it at the end of that fight. And once again, Mira making full use of that crit charge, and one and a half minutes left on the clock for them. It's looking good for a mirror again this round. Good job there by uh, Dami, who I think that's Wilco, taking on the medic of uh, Mira, so Rody does go down. Um, looking at some um, advantages, both medics are down on both teams, coming up back now. Um, Anzac will have crits first though. 
Yeah, about a sort of 10 to 12 percent Uber at uh, crits advantage. There. Uh, shouldn't be too much really though. We're basically just seeing Mirror controlling the point up really well. Even when they don't have a crits advantage, they're really just controlling the space around it. Their scout, I'm noticing all the time, is getting a lot of work done, and when they don't have the point, he's always capping up, and that's something that Anzac aren't really doing at the moment, and perhaps it's something they should be. Yeah, two different ways you can use a scout on his map. I think this is one of the best scout maps. Uh, scout in general is great for cloth, but um, seen a lot of a lot of work done by scouts in this map. Well, they're going to need to do some. It looks like Anzac's trying to move forward, but a couple of quick deaths means that they can't really do too much with this potential crits that they've got. It's actually now at 100%. I'm on the jammy cam. No, it's actually an Uber. They're moving it's forward Uber. with the heavy and the demo combined, which should do a lot of work. They need to get the medic down to prevent that crit coming up, though. Otherwise, it's going to be big problems for them when Mirage decide to repush. I think it's a pretty good choice actually for Anzac going going back into crits as Mirror actually goes back on the uh, sorry back on the Uber as well. Uh, Uber pops on metal the heavy, um, blocking that points, getting as much plays down as possible. Law gets some nice picks there behind the points, but that's not going to be enough to to push Mirror off that point. I wouldn't have thought it was either. It looks like Anzac's trying their very best to try and get on the point, but no, not quite enough. And um, yeah, I was caught out by both of those medics going Uber as well. So there we go. Second round, straight up in favour of Mira. What will we see this third round? Not Lorenzo, because if I put him on the camera, he will fail. So that that's a given. And just looking at these teams as well, what's really interesting is the order of classes from top to bottom is pretty much identical for both teams. Something quite funny. Wow, it actually more or less is. Uh, I don't know what that says. Maybe it just says that both teams are playing the game exactly how it should be. Um, I don't know. But what I do know is that Mira's playing it better. They've got the two-round advantage on Anzac right now. Uh, both Ubers about even. Is it crits or Uber? It's back on Uber for both teams at the moment. So, interesting decision. I'm wondering why Mira felt that they weren't getting enough done with those crits. It's uh, Mirror's actually gone back to crits. Uh, Lammy's got, sorry, T uh, Rhoda's got crits right now. It's found Jono his pocket. Uh, Jono going on to the right hand side, spots not much of a target, and um, he's he's going back to saving up that crit. Not sure if that was a good option, though. I think you want to pop it as early as possible, as now Zach has popped over. And looks like you're going to drive that Matic and Heavy all the way back. Yeah, it looks like they will. Jono taking a Girardi as well, which means I don't think he's actually going to be able to move too far forward under these crits. Rhodey is all the way back, but he did manage to retain that crit charge there, though. So uh, while Anzac does control the point right now, I think we might see some Jono stickies coming up very soon. And there it actually is. The crits does go out. Takes down the soldier in the first crits. He's eyeing off the medic. Does take him down. Sniper as well in the background there. That's a lot of Anzac players dead. Only two players left alive. So that's a seven down under the force of those crits. Mira looking very good with those crits there. That's um, eight plays down for Anzac right now. Uh, John, a really good sticky man. Getting a lot of damage and getting a lot of kills with that crits, Craig, as well. Um, just putting stickies on that right hand side to spy Lorenzo down and uh, from that sticky trap. Yeah, and the great thing about killing Lorenzo is you know he's not running Dead Ringer, so if you get the kill like notice on him, he's going down. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, it's it's. Interesting to see what Anzac's going to be trying to do to come back from this. They did lose all of their players all in a row, and uh, even if they did switch to crits, which it looks like they might be because they're building that crit charge very, very fast, um, Rhodey's still going to have the crits in front of them, and it's actually about 100% now, so John, it looks like they could be going. They're also going to take down this mini sentry and go, probably. What I really like from this uh, crits right now is it appears to me that John is the one that's calling for that crits, Craig, and Rhodey's just popping as soon as he calls. That's exactly how you want to use this thing. Yeah, it is. And in fact, I was wrong. Anzac did retain that Uber uh, there, so they did manage to keep their medic alive through that crit. And they're trying to get forward onto the point right now. Pyro's doing a lot of work in reflecting. And in fact, Jono, even in the face of that Uber, is just running forward. Sticky's everywhere, and it looks like he, uh, no, he won't quite get that medic. But that's some great, uh, really aggressive defensive work there from Jono. Pretty good stuff there. I think Anzac's actually changed their hold a bit, holding further back, holding that back left sort of region and um, attacking from the top as well. So I don't think they actually push forward until they do have uh, Uber advantage, which is a good idea, seeing that being close range with crits isn't a great idea. Uh, but in saying that, Brody has another crits, Craig, and he's going to find found Jono. Oh, and I think just for the first time ever, I've just caught Lorenzo get a backstab on camera. In fact, he dropped the medic as well. That was huge. The one time ever I put the camera on him, he actually gets kills. That's amazing. <laughs> Um, <laughs> good work by Lorda. Um, 
that means that his team now have uh, you're gonna have Uber and Kretz roughly at the same time. But you know, Uber trumps Kretz, so when Anzac do decide to push this point with Uber, I think it's gonna go in their favour. Look, I think it's going to have to be soon. Only 30 seconds left right now on the clock for Mira. Uh, they Antic did actually have a player advantage for a while there. They tried to get some time on the point, but Mira was just a bit too strong in their DM to let that happen. But uh, it's about 50% right now. Anzac, I don't think they can afford to wait for this Uber. They need to move now. Oh, I'm not sure what Shred was doing, but he had the demo right in front of him. decided not to stab him. Uh, pressure on the point from Anzac. They've got a pyro, a demo, and an NG on that. Uh, Mira is actually taking a lot of damage right now. They are retreating. But Antak will save this point for the time being. Yeah, but zero, zero, zero on the clock. Mira needs only to cap up, and they've won this. And right now they've got a huge player advantage over Anzac. They, um, yeah, a lot of the heavies are down for Anzac. They do have up that 100% charge. I don't know if it's Uber or the crits. Not too sure. Rody's got his crits, and it looks like we're going to go in. Seeing this from the medic's point of view, onto the Jono. Under Jono there, does take down a few players straight away, two, three kills coming up under that crits charge, although one of them was a sentry, and a few more right at the end of it, Lorenzo included, so it looks like Mira, a valiant effort from Anzac, but it looks like this first half is going uh, in favour of Mira, three rounds to zero. Yeah, pretty convincing actually, by Mira, I think, um, just looking at that scoreboard as well, they seem to be individually dominating their opposition uh, class as well, so all of their plays don't Wow. Work. Yeah. Mm. Wow, Shredder being the only one without a dom, and Rody and Jono both with three doms each. That's actually pretty huge. Um, so individually, it looks like uh, Mira is just all over Anzac. I don't know... I mean, I think if Anzac had their full roster and their full core, we'd probably be seeing just a slightly better performance out of them. As it is, it's not a bad performance. Uh, it's just not quite enough to be beating this uh, mirror team at the moment. And it occurs to me right now that uh, we never actually went through the full rosters for each. So I was trying to right at the start before the game started. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and go through Anzac right now. We've got Ryan uh, on the Medic there. Demi, which is Durzo there on the Heavy. Lorenzo, of course, on the Spy. Jemmy on Demo for this game. Cowbell on the Sniper. Whammy, which, as you mentioned, is Woolcore there, up on the Engineer, Shemi, which is Shin, <laughs> onto the Pyro, the Stammy, which is the Stash, onto the Soldier, and Skemi, which is of course Skenny, on the Scout there. And, and uh, uh, yeah. Going through Mirror's drill set, we got Rody on Medic, Jono on Demo Man, uh, Metal on Heavy, Kieran on Sniper, Faith on Scout, uh, G on Engineer, Tison on Pyro, Shredder on Spy, and Lamy on Soldier. Yeah, that's it. Uh, it doesn't turn up, and you're going to have someone else just doing the work. Look, that's ex absolutely right. We are live in the fourth round, guys. This is the second half, UGC Season 10, Week 3, Anzac and Mira. Mira taking the first three rounds, uh, three rounds to zero. And uh, we're out here on the mid fight of the fourth round. Kieran going down straight away, Jemmy as well. Uh, so, yeah, it looks like fairly standard rollout so far, but it looks like, um, yeah, Mira now in the blue, probably having... No, you're actually getting a few kills on them, and it looks like Anzac's quite in the lead at this stage. Oh, oh. good reflect that. I yeah. Am. <laughs> Just caught that. That was great. So it looks like Anzac is capping up that point straight up. They've got a scout in the background trying to harass that medic. It won't work. It is Rody. He's on the crits. Jono is with him. So I would suspect that uh, with the crits in the background, yeah, but nothing really happened. Sorry, guys. I kept that on the Jono cam, expecting them to go forward, but they've just backed off right to their spawn. So playing it super defensively to try and protect these crits until they want to use it. Got some pyro versus pyro here in the background, uh, blowing each other off, but NG steps in, so I'm gonna evacuate that. Um, Mirai's got a pretty good hold of this point, or Anzac's got a pretty good hold of this point so far. It's actually uh, 2 minutes 25 seconds in their favour. Mirai pushing up now, they've got some... Um, they've got actually a bit disadvantage, Rody's on 15% and Jami, sorry Ryan, is on 70%. Yeah, look, they used the crits there on the side of Mirror and got done with it precisely zero. One mini sentry essentially stopped them and one soldier just bombing around, uh, distracting Jono, who was trying to land mid-pipes, but didn't quite happen. So uh, they did manage to recap up that point, but uh, Ryan on 100%, I don't know if that's still the crits by the looks of things. Yeah, and actually, there's the crits goes out. Uh, didn't quite connect with that first sticky, but does get a few kills. T-Son under it, but there we go. F um, Metal getting a lot of kills as well in return. Um... But it looks like Anzac, with a successful push there, going to cap up and continue knocking down time on this point. Yep, 
And yeah, Ryan did go down uh, during that um, during that engagement. So he's just gotten back up, I believe. Already up to 20% Uber, so 20% uh, oh, crits there. But uh, in the space of that time, it looks like Mira actually managed to recap up this point there in the mid, which is just a great off Uber push, off crits push. They just muscled their way on and did it. Hmm. Um, two down at the moment for Mira, so Anzac 2 have play advantage. Uh, they also are at an Uber advantage as well, so that crit, I think, is what uh, Ryan's running right now is going to be popped pretty soon. Oh, it's oh, a huge trap there out of Jono getting a few players, and that was actually being seen by uh, Jemmy there. He needed to call that one out because they've lost... Well, actually, both medics went down there. I didn't see actually what killed um, Rody in the background there, but he did go down. Shredder and Lemmy both getting a couple of quick kills. Lemmy actually getting two kills there. Uh, so very good stuff from both teams, but it looks like through all of that, Mira's actually retained their point presence, and it's still ticking down in their favour. Yep, full team up as well for Mira, and um, uh, the Jono and Rota combo doing a lot of work again. I think I'm just going to paraphrase that to Rono from now on. Um, that's what I'm seeing on my scoreboard, but they do have a pretty big presence <laughs> on the point right now, and um, not seeing not seeing too much from Anzac, just building up this crit screen. Yeah, not seeing much at all. One minute, five seconds left on the clock now for Mira, and uh, just essentially waiting for Rono to go big. I'm, I like it. I do. Um, Thank you. But there we go. Crits in that as well. Yeah, probably should. You're full of ideas. Um, but yeah, the crits is actually out right now. Doesn't get a lot of kills. Does get Jono, but Shredder manages to get the backstab onto Ryan at exactly the right time. So that crits was largely ineffective. 44 seconds left on the clock now. It looks like Anzac's getting on the point, trying to get some pressure on, trying to cap it up but they're getting knocked off fairly hard by that spun-up heavy. He's just sort of controlling their point, and it looks like an aggro Angie uh, in the form of G just coming forward and trying to get work done. Anzac's trying to sneak onto the point, but I think Mira should be able to uh, defend this one up fairly easily. Yeah, it's a bit of um, not great positioning there by, um, by Anzac. Too much aspiration to actually go onto that point and defend it, and people kind of spawning one by one, just getting picked off one by one as Rono gets another crits going. Yeah, the Rono crit's doing work, of course. Uh, does get... Well, actually, there's a complete wipe there on the side of Anzac. That was 9 down just for a second there. I, you don't see that very often in Highlander at all. 15 seconds left on this clock, and I dare say 15 seconds left in this match, because if they win this round, of course, Mira to win this match, as we see Kieran get an absolutely cracking shot there onto uh, Wilcore on the NG. Yep, and that is that. That's that is, easy. yeah, four rounds to zero in favour of Mira by the looks of things. So, um, well, largely, I suppose, as we expected to go there, Edge. Yeah, um, Mira, it's a core cool team. Uh, they played quite well. I think they played as expected tonight. Um, once uh, once again, the potential, and they really did show that they're, they're a team to contest this season of UGC. Um, Look, well, yeah, I, I'm uh, looking very much forward to the day that they play you guys. <laughs> I'm really scared now, actually. They look quite good. Well, yeah, it's um, it's always good to see a little bit more competition at the top. The GGs oh, have yeah. gone out, guys. Um, gonna go ahead and wrap that up here for the uh, for the VOD. So, um, need some uh, some questions, some post map post match interview requests. -ish. Are we happy to do that or? Uh, yeah, why not? But I'm gonna yeah. go ahead and stop this here. That'll be in a separate <laughs> video, guys. So, uh, you know. It'll be on my YouTube channel, so look at that for that. I've been Ishanu. This has been Ishanu and Friends TV. Four rounds to zero in favour of Mira. Edge has been with me, and, um, well, you'll be seeing him again as he interviews some players shortly.